Go. Hey guys, welcome back to these videos. My name is Eric McGrew with Elevated Office Podcast, also with Eric Street Service in Montrose, Colorado. As you can see, my truck still isn't working, but we are going to be doing a climbing job. We're gonna work on this ash tree that's just behind this light pole back here. But before we do that, I thought I would do a official unboxing of the Notch Rope Runner Pro, which I have owned for four months and haven't even taken it out of the box. So I know, I know, you guys always say, oh, spoiled, whatever. It, it's, it's complicated, so I don't want to hear it. Come here. This is what we got going on. If you come up here, the Notch comes in, the Rope Runner Pro comes in a very nice little case. Um, honestly, I think they spent way too much money on the case because, well, I'm never going to use it again. You take off the lid, there's your little manual, which we all read, of course, sure we do. You always should read the manuals and specs for inspection and use. And then here it is in a foam cutout, so it's all nice and pretty. We'll never, ever, ever use this again, so I don't really know why they gave it to us. They wasted a lot of money. And then here is the device. So this is your Rope Runner Pro. Of course, this is your upper bollard that you're gonna make your adjustments and friction on, and then um it's all set up for you to start moving around you've got your lower bollard here that you can um replace and shift and whatever as time goes on but these are supposed to be a lot more durable so you shouldn't really have to as much and as it does wear in you will have to make adjustments so just keep that in mind you've got these little notches in here that help um give you indication as what notch you have it on so that you can make your adjustments one thing is i know that these are really cheap i've had a whole bunch of people online talk about that um so don't expect this allen wrench to last a long time but you can just kind of loosen it up there and then you're going to loosen it up i think over on the on this side as well i don't remember i haven't looked at the manual in a little bit but that's all right yeah so there's that now see you can slide it all the way down and up i'm running 11 7 so i'm probably going to be on the second notch here is what i'm expecting because it kind of flattens and things in my body weight the first one i would assume would just be really tight and too hard so i'm going to start with the second notch here it's kind of hard to hold it it's you know i do like the fact that the akimbo keys in and it makes it really easy for adjustment but doesn't mean that it's perfect because it is definitely not perfect at all so up of course it orients just like the original um but man this thing looks way better in design working load limit 140 kg so you know keep that in mind it actually has laser engraved or i guess that's engraved. yeah it looks like laser engraved orientations of the rope inside there to help you know what should be going on it says no rope there so you want to make sure that you have it the way it should be and you're going to go because it's going to go like that actually see that's why it says no rope no rope in there rope between these two then you've got your slick pins now it has been said that the pulley still can fall off if you turn it just the right way so kind of keep that in mind um it's it's just something you have to work with so keep that all in mind folks but the idea is, is that it does like that and then it doesn't fall off but there is a key in there that you can see and if you just do it the right way like that so it says it's a no drop parts device but that's not 100 percent accurate so just keep in mind that if you have it oriented just the right way you could actually drop the parts okay but it's a lot better overall than the original for sure. All right, so we're gonna get climbing on it and get going.
Go ahead. Okay. You ready? That thing's got some cutting power. Yeah. So there we go.